Hello there, adventurers. Ben. Danielle. And you're watching the Malik, Malik Adventures. Adventures. What are we here for, Danielle? It is another round of Fun Friday. We have another board game here for you guys today. What do we have, Danielle? We have Mousetrap. But before we get too far into the video, make sure you like the video. Subscribe. And comment down below how nostalgic is Mousetrap or have you ever heard of it before? Oh. Yes. But first, here. Mousetrap is a very nostalgic game for me. Mm -hmm. I have fond memories of playing this when I was a kid. And, well, we didn't have this game until... Until Jake from Jake's Disney Afternoon included it in a box swap. And we'll link um, that video up <clears throat> here. And it was the 80s box swap because this game came out in the 80s. Of course, they've redone it to make it a little bit more... Modern. Modern, yeah. yeah easier to use. But it's still super difficult to put together. And super fun. Anyways, but we can't play it up here, so field trip time. Yep, to the downstairs, to the dining room. See you in a sec. All right, like we talked about it before, here is Mousetrap, and let's go ahead and get it unboxed. It's going to take us to put it together, so uh, enjoy this quick little fast Please note, recording. ages six and up, two to four, and adults <laughs> assembly, assembly required. required. <laughs> so let us do this. And you know what? I thought I was gonna do it in fast forward, but this gives you guys a good idea of what it's Struggle. like in real time to get this game put together. Ooh, should we show them the which direction should we put it? I like showing yeah. the trap over here. This game is a pain in the rear end to get it fully to put assemble. together. So let's get all the pieces out. All right, Daniel, what's the goal of Mousetrap for those that may not have played Mousetrap before? To get the cheese. <laughs> How so, much cheese do you need? You need a whole roll of cheese. Wheel, but yeah, same thing. And then here's the directions. We played this a couple of weeks ago with one of my friends. Um, but you have to assemble, which usually takes longer than the actual game. Right. Because there's a lot of pieces. And here's how to assemble it. And then here's the directions. And the you can trap people. That's why it's called mouse trap. Uh, to get their cheese, you can steal their cheese. Uh, your cheese can be taken away. And you can get extra cheese. Pretty much, right? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the concept of the game, right? Does it say anything back here? Uh, pretty much. Oh, it's a chain reaction trap. It's a Rube Goldberg machine. And then collect six cheese wedges first to win. I like how they use children as we're like adults playing it. <laughs> Do you need help? Possibly. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, and. When it bounces the the marble, you have to watch for it so the doggies don't get it. Okay, if you have doggies. If you have doggies or kitties or children. Mainly children. <laughs> and I've learned in, in the direction it tells you to put 
base two on before three. Obviously, you know, because three comes before or after two. But I've learned that it's easier to do one and three and then to put two on later. It just works out pretty easy that way. And then you can slowly start putting together everything else. And eventually you get to where you need to be. And the more you play the game, you know, the easier it hopefully gets. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my goodness, look at these extra or these other games too. What is that? Per perfection? Is that where it like yeah, yeah, yeah. That game gave me the oh, most anxiety, anxiety of my life. Yes. I don't know what these other ones are. Sculpt it. Downspin. I used to play this game all the time as a kid. I didn't have it personally, but a family friend had it. And every time I would go over to their house, this is what we would play. Did you have it as a kid? I did have it as a kid, yes. Where are you coming? Well, this goes here. Okay. It looks so cool. Oh, and then you have to balance this, right? Right. When you and Sam were. Well, I wouldn't do it right now because I still got a couple more pieces to. Well, I wanted to be part of building the game. It looks so cool from that view. Right. And the rubber band goes here. That starts your Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> Oh, one time we were playing it, and somehow I didn't get the stop sign to hit the boot. Yep. And it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, so here is the full mouse trap. Oh. Besides the man and the... Yep, I gotta get them out. So our, our, our dude is here. As he falls our over. Our diver. Our diver, so he's like, so you get a marble... Post it. There it is. Come on. Your marble starts here. And so on and so forth. I want red. Danielle is going to be the red mouse. And the start is all the way over here. I'm going to be the blue. And don't we start with... You start with one two? cheese? Or one. I do know that the first person to make it all the way around earns one. two bonus cheeses. But I will say, when we played this last, we didn't even get, didn't even get close. And so here's your cheeses. Your goal is to, um, well, you know, make an entire wheel of cheese. So you need six pieces of cheese. And the way to do that Put it is... where they can see your cheese. Oh, yep. Yeah, my cheese is right there. So they know you're not cheating. <laughs> so you roll the dice. Usually youngest rolls first. In this case, it doesn't really matter. In this case, it would be you. Uh, right. And if you land on the cheese symbol, you get a piece of cheese. If you land on purple, you get nothing. If you land on red, you'd get no cheeses. Or actually, you lose a cheese. If you land on blue, you get to send someone to the trap zone. And you get to start the machine. If the machine starts and captures them, you get to take a cheese from them. And if it lands on... Green, you get to just steal the cheese from any player on the board. And there is two tunnels that you can go through the board. So one tunnel starts all the way over here, and you end up over here. Yep. Uh, the other one goes from here and ends up over there. So, let do you want to... Oh, I didn't even notice the last time there's some mac and cheese. So let's just show you how the machine goes, and I'm going to... Actually, move it. I'm gonna do this. Move that back. Let's raise the camera up a little bit so you can see everything in its glory. There you go. We'll angle that a little bit better. 
There we go. All right. So if you get to trap someone, you pull the stop sign back, which then will kick the boot. The boot will knock the bucket over, which will release the marble. I got this boom, and then it waits there and hits there. Oh, you're so you yep. are gonna do it. So boom. And I'm gonna remove him because <laughs> I don't want to refix that. So there it goes up into the bathtub, and then boom. Well, boom. The, the guy not... would would oh. fly up into the cup, knocking this down. I didn't want to spend a minute and a half oh, I was <laughs> putting that back together. So, and then you just got to reset the machine, put your marble back, relatch the broomstick, and then you're ready to go again. So, let's start. And I rolled a six. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six. I landed on purple, so nothing happens to me. Four. One, two, three, four. I steal your cheese. So I have to give my cheese away to Danielle. And I roll again. I get a five. One, two, three, four, five. I landed on a yellow cheese, so I get me a new cheese. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. So Danielle takes a tunnel, and that she skips like half the board. Yeah. I want that extra cheese. I roll. I got a five. Can you move me five? One, two, three, four, five. No! I land on a trap square, so I send, since it's just Danielle and I playing, I send her to the trap, and I get to release the stop sign, the Goldberg machine. And if I capture her, then... I get a cheese. Yep. Around and around it goes. Up and and I captured her. So I get one of her cheeses. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. Bear with us for a second as we put together the trap. And Danielle has to stay there. If we were playing with more people and let's say someone rolled again and sent someone else there... And she got re-trapped a second time before she was able to move. I believe the rule is that both players give that person who started the machine a piece of cheese. It is your rule. Four. One, two, three, four. Nothing. Nothing. Six, please. Can you put that man back? Oh, yeah. Do you choose? <laughs> <laughs> Do you choose to take the tunnel? Yes, I choose to take the tunnel, please. So I go through the tunnel, all the way to the other side where the tunnel exits. And now I'm only six spaces away from the extra cheese. Then your rule isn't. Oh! Not anymore. But now I go. This is this is why no one ever gets around the first time because someone always lands. Especially, on... I think. If you had, like, four people, then you have a chance to get the cheese more. Mm -hmm. But always the first person, the person in the lead always gets hammered first. Because no one wants them to get the cheese. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, like, you have more chance of getting that cheese because there's four people, three other people that you can send to the yes. trap. So now Danielle releases the trap. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know why I caught that. Trying to cheat. That's what you're trying to do. <laughs> and she caught me. No, I was trying to be effective and not let the ball roll away. So Danielle catches me. And trying so to cheat. I have to give her one of my Jesus. And this game can go anywhere between 10 minutes, half hour, an hour, however long it takes to completely win the game but now it's my turn to roll i get a three give me a new piece of cheese give me nothing danielle gets nothing and you keep going now i got a six two, three, four, five, two. i got nothing three i will steal nope you get a piece of cheese so now danielle has three cheeses i have two my turn to roll four I landed on a steel, and we basically switch leads. Two. Two. Nothing. You're on nothing. Oh, we might actually get to the... 
five. One, two, three, four, five. I get another piece of cheese. I'm two away from winning. Three. One, two, three. Do you want to go through the tunnel? Really? <laughs> I roll again. I get a four. One, two, three, four. Another piece of cheese. Danielle can roll a one or a five to throw me. One, two, three, four. She's on purple. And now, unless... I need to roll a three or higher to get the bonus cheese and win. Oh, but... I yeah. rolled a two. I landed on the trap square. I throw Danielle there. If this traps her, I get one of her pieces of cheese and I win. How did we get doggy hair? Oh, we have four animals. There it goes. Around and around. Up. Oh. For the win. Which you well, could. I... Okay, way that you can not trap me is this man could not land in there. That is true. We did see that happen. But I will take a piece of cheese, please. Whatever. I'm a salty <laughs> loser. And I have completed my wheel of cheese, which means I win. So let's go back to the Disney room to talk final thoughts on Mousetrap. I am the champion of Mousetrap. Whatever. <laughs> we're not really counting winners and losers here. But we are. Uh, we're mainly wanting to show you guys the game. So, oh, I love Mousetrap so very much. Shall we do some ratings? Final discussions? Yeah. Overall, Mousetrap, 1 to 10. 10 being best, 1 being worst. How would you rate it? I really like Mousetrap. Now, don't take into account that you lost. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, okay. I Because there could be, like, there could be a solution for the marble not to be caught. Like, if they... Yeah. Astro, stop. He's pawing at the ground over here, scratching it up. Uh, I'm going to give it an eight. Oh. And I take off that half point because um, it takes forever to set up. And then every time you activate the trap, you got to reset it. But once you get good at it, it doesn't take that long. Um, but considering it was made in the 80s, setting up and actually taking time versus people want things now. That is true. That makes sense. Okay. Ease of understanding how to play the game. <laughs> like a with, nine. with all the rules and everything. A nine. nine. Okay, okay. Very simple. What do you think? Yeah, I totally agree. Nine. I mean, it's it's a quick read. The longest part of the directions is how to put the thing together and putting all the pieces in the right spot. Overall, I think Mousetrap is one of my more favorite games. Yeah. But uh, I, I would totally play this on a game night multiple times. And it, I think it's more fun with more players yes, than the just four, two. The four players. Yeah. Or three versus just us two. Yeah, totally agree. But then again, the dogs aren't very you know they're very sore losers so they don't like to play with us anyways friends make sure you comment down below do you even know what mousetrap was before today's video or uh is it a nostalgic thing or anything else we want them to comment no that was your two questions yeah exactly so until next time friends make sure you stay safe stay magical and keep gaming see you on the next one